I had been having headaches for over a year, severe headaches, but they became so frequent that I didn't really notice them after a certain point. I would notice more when I stopped having a headache. I was getting nauseous, I had arm weakness, I, I'd feel dizzy a lot of times. In addition, she developed a very weird symptom where half of her body would get flushed and warm and red, and the other half would feel cool and cold, almost like a line right down the middle of her body. Like to the point where I would actually wear a mitten on one hand, and the other side I could be wearing a tank top. So at one point my boot camp instructor, who had had a twin sister with a brain tumor, said to me, I'd really like you to go to the doctor and get this checked out, you're scaring me. She had an unusual form of hydrocephalus, a problem that people are born with. Chiari malformation is the congenital problem where the skull is too small and it actually refers to the back of the brain protruding out of the bottom of the skull because the skull is too small. When I was an infant, I had a tumor in the back of my head. And when they removed the tumor, they put a plate over it. And it was large, and that was what was causing the pressure on the back of my brain. Because of that repair, over time, her brain couldn't grow normally into that space. I've never seen anything like it. As a result of her Chiari malformation, she developed a big fluid cavity within her spinal cord. So we're looking at a side view of the brain. At the bottom of the skull, all this black is artifact from metal from the old original surgery pushing out of the bottom of the skull. And on the other picture is a cross section through the upper spinal cord where instead of it being an entire dark spinal cord, there's a thin rim of spinal cord and the whole rest of the spinal cord is now fluid filled like a water balloon. The hydrocephalus felt like a rubber band pushing against my brain. And after that surgery, I felt an instant relief of the pressure, and I felt like I, I was really back to normal. It was really a first-of-kind surgery we've done because we've never seen this exact problem before. So her prognosis is that hopefully she should be cured, which is fantastic. How do you thank somebody who's done something like that for you and provided you that level of care? I tell people that I had like a dream team. New York Presbyterian was fantastic and we would have traveled much further if necessary to receive the type of care that I received. Mm -hmm.